Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you a little simple tip to make these really beautiful signs. I do not have any hand lettering experience, but I do have this awesome Sharpie that really makes this an easy and fun activity when you're trying to dress up your home decor. So if you have interest, please, please stick around and check to the end. I'm gonna give you three different examples. Today we'll be using the chisel tip Sharpie. This thing is amazing. It has both broad stroke and fine line capabilities. And what I like about it is at the tip, you have kind of a very thin line, at the chisel middle part, a very thick, and then if you put it on its side, it's kind of medium. And if you twist the pen like this, it also can give a bit of a contour vibe. So if you can see all the different sizes that you can do here, kind of emulate that brush stroke, but it's in a permanent pen, which is so awesome. I'm gonna show you a little example just using a simple H here. I get a lot of my inspiration from Pinterest. If you're looking for how to do the shapes of these, just definitely check that out. Um, I'll go into detail about that in a little bit, but what I like to do is actually start with the chisel side of the pen and go as my thick line, kind of the base of whatever letter I am writing. And then once I kind of get it to as thick as I like it, then I'm gonna slowly use the fine tip part of this pen and go one part at a time. So the one thing I have found with doing any kind of signs, it's really important that you go slow and just do little sections at a time. When these start to look silly is when you stop mid stroke. So like here, I'm taking it into the thick line and then I stop and then I'm gonna go start at the top and I'm gonna come and meet it down at the bottom. That way I know my hand is gonna be able to do that without um, stopping and making a little, sometimes there's like a little bump there. So once you kind of get that put together, go ahead and connect them so there's continuity. Now with this H, I am going to be making one, of, one half of that hump a little bit thicker, but to get started, I'm just gonna outline with where I have the pencil with just a simple line to make sure because where it's gonna meet is gonna be much thinner and then I'm gonna do what I did earlier where that contour where you start at the top with the um, pen down and then you twist it to kind of give it this thicker effect. So go over this a couple times, make sure that everything connects and then we're gonna get started with our first word. While I'm finishing this up, I just wanted to take the opportunity to introduce myself. My name is Lauren. If you're new to my channel, I do a lot of home decor here, so please check out a bunch of my other videos if you wanna get inspired for any holiday or any time of the year. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video if it brings you a little inspiration um, for your home decor. And if you see any of this stuff and you wanna kinda get the sneak peek, definitely check out my Instagram at Mrs. Lauren Nicholson so that you can be the first to see what I'm working on. So to get started, I'm gonna go on Pinterest and find uh, the word gather is kind of a fun one. I love how whimsical the G and the TH is always look beautiful. And once you kind of find one that inspires you, use a pencil and start to outline in a very, very light stroke, start to outline the word the way you kind of like it. The one thing I have to tell you about hand lettering is it's all about proportion and scale. So you'll see, I'm gonna do three different words for you guys today. You will see that sometimes like this R, I end up changing. The R either looks too big or maybe the accents or uh, where it's placed isn't right. So definitely don't, don't be too hard on yourself. Just that's why we use a pencil. So to get started, again, I always start with my thickest line. So I know that on the left of every letter or the right, depending, um, sometimes both, I'm gonna do a much thicker line. So I start to go over those first and then I will definitely be making mistakes along the way, so watch for those because I will show you at the end of each one how I fix them to kind of make everything look a little bit smoother. But do not get upset at yourself if you make mistakes because you are going to. Like this is not easy and it's supposed to kind of be fun, so give yourself a break if it isn't perfect. So again, let's go over all the thick lines and then we're gonna go through and try to maybe clean these up and make them look a little bit smoother.
a great example of how you can kind of make some mistakes when you first draw it and how great it looks when you can go back and kind of make sure that the proportions are right to the um, word that you're writing. So before I do any writing with my Sharpie, I always try it in pencil first. I have to tell you that is one of the biggest tricks to getting this right and not throwing a ton of paper away. Um, definitely try it out in pencil first. I did this a couple times and I wanted something a little more linear and not bulky for this y, or this R, but I would definitely try, try it in pencil, do it a couple times and always make your pencil marks super, super thin. So when you go to erase them, you don't really see it. But I think this turned out great. I think the R I did a little bit too thick, but you'll see in areas where you go too thick, just contour it out so it looks like it was supposed to be that large. Otherwise that R would have looked crazy, but I think it turned out great. So once you're done, just go ahead and use your Sharpie to clean these lines. So now that you have everything laid out, you can use much longer and broader strokes. It doesn't have to be as detailed. And erase anywhere you see pencil mark. And that's it, you guys. It is simple as that. I am gonna show you a couple more different words. I have hello and then thank you coming up next. I'm not gonna talk through all of this, but I did some close-ups so you can kind of see the strokes I use and how I interpret the scale of each letter. I do a lot of correcting, so definitely um, watch that so you can kind of see where I correct things and how I write things. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please, please don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions, put them in down in the comments below. This was a super highly recommended video, so I wanna make sure that you guys enjoy it. Don't forget to check my description so you can see which pen I'm using, because honestly, I don't know how to do this with any other pen. So I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you guys at the end.
Okay guys, thank you so much for watching my video today. I hope this gave you a little inspiration or if not demystified some of how to do lettering for a gorgeous sign at your house, not using the brush pens or any type of special technique. This really can be done by anybody. I hope you enjoyed it. Put in your comments down below if this helped you at all and definitely go to Amazon. I have it linked in the description. Pick up this pen. It is amazing and it will really help you guys with your lettering. Until next time, I hope you guys are decorating, having fun, and check out some of my other videos to get inspired for whichever season you're in right now in life. Thank you again so much. I'll see you guys soon.